she's making a contribution. The Grace, the Grace kids moved out of Lansdowne, but they opened up athletics. Uh, it's a leadership through athletics. So it seems like even when Lansdowne folk leave, they they still come back. Yes. They still make a contribution. And I think uh, I think Lansdowne still has a lot of strong social fabric. right across from Alma Road as you come up Lansdowne. And she taught piano there for a long time. But she, I used to jump the fence. My, my mom was sending me for something, I jumped the fence. And by the time I got over there, all I can remember is I wanted candy. I forget what I went for. But the, there were so many little stores in yeah. Lansdowne. Yeah. You know, there were Sipes's, there was Gleason's, there was Amelia's, Amelia's Sal's. Uh, then there was one up the street further too. But it was, uh, In 1969 through 1981, Lansdowne's postmaster was Paul Ranke Sr. We have a news story recorded in 1981 when Mr. Ranke retired. I thought he would call and told you the Lansdowne post office would close down today, and at high noon, it did. Its 87 year old postmaster also went into retirement, and customers will have to go to our unit. And his office was there to prepare this report. Still creating new videos, so look for the updates and uh, we will continue to unearth the current history and what's to come in Lansdowne. And for that, unless there's any questions, we want to thank those people who are seeing this the second time. And for those who have seen it the first time, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you for coming. Good night.